माई नेम इज आशीष कुमार आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज गाजियाबाद दिस इज अ माई फर्स्ट लेक्चर रिलेटेड टू अ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन दैट लेक्चर आई हैव टू स्टडी अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड फंक्शन ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम Uh, what is the operating system before introduction of the operating system first you have to discuss about the what is operating system operating system basically it is a intermediate between user and user and hardware is equal to application software plus system software and uh, an operating system is a system software that has an intermediary interface between a user of computer and the computer hardware basically uh, main goals uh, of computer sy system is easy to uh, communicate in a entire systems computer systems and easy to execute any programs easy to access resource through the uh, through the computer systems so here mention some uh, points uh, i have to one by one explain here execute a user program and make solving user problems Uh, user problems and easy way. So, uh, because uh, without operating system, you have to not think about the any computer system. Why? In a using operating system, any problem solve very easy. So, if you access any printer or yeah, if you access any scanner, so if uh, so you write the some programs for accessing the any system and any uh, printer hardwares. so without uh, operating system it is a uh, very difficult so you have to write the some dedicated program for accessing the printer and accessing the scanners so um, and also you know that in a before the operating system we have to uh, facing some problems because uh, it the entire world is uh, related to the uh, operating systems and uh, and communication very easy so the make the computer system convenient to the user and use the computer hardware in an uh, in an efficient manners the operating system operate either in kernel mode or user mode compiler compiler editor run in user mode whereas operating systems uh, operating systems uh, uh, code in run in kernel mode so uh in a, if you access the any applications any programs so uh, user interact first uh, applications and some system calls is are there through the system calls you are access the operating system uh here some pictures uh, here some picture uh, so uh user first is user then operating system and then hardware that means operating system it is a uh, intermediate between the user and hardware application it is also called a system software and uh, operating operating system is also called as system software so user first interact to the any applications and uh, operating system and then access to the any printers keyboard disk drive anything so it is a main scenario of the operating system in a computer organization and computer system so the types of the computer systems uh, the structure of sorry the structure of computer system is uh, user application operating system and hardware it is a major major uh, uh, major diagram for uh, application uh, for uh, operating system is user first interact to application and operate application interact with operating system and then hardware so if user access any uh, hardware through the operating system or some application or involved in that process so here some uh, points are mentioned here accessing computer resources in divided into layers each layer is isolated and only interact directly with the layer below of above it if we install a new hardware devices no need to change anything about the user applications however you do need to make change uh, to the operating systems and you need to install the devices driver that the operating systems uh, system will uh, use to control the new device if you install new software application no need to make change the your hardware but we need to make sure the application supported by the system user will need to learn how to use the new application so some uh, point is are given 
कि हाउ टू इफ इफ यू इंस्टॉल द न्यू हार्डवेयर एंड इफ यू इंस्टॉल द न्यू एप्लीकेशन इफ यू इंस्टॉल द न्यू रिसोर्स सम फंक्शन आर देयर सम फंक्शन ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम परफॉर्म सम फंक्शन प्रोसेस मैनेजमेंट यूजर इंटरफेस मेमोरी मैनेजमेंट फाइल मैनेजमेंट आईओ मैनेजमेंट सिक्योरिटी एंड यूजर इंटरफेस फर्स्ट हियर यू इंट्रोड्यूस द प्रोसेस मैनेजमेंट प्रोसेस मैनेजमेंट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज एवरी प्रोग्राम इट इज अ मूव ऑन एक्शन मोड दैट इज कॉल्ड द प्रोसेस if process uh, enter the processor and then processing the uh, processing some uh, result after result you uh, terminated process is terminated so whole system are managed through the operating system i have to see the some slides here uh, to the process management uh, yes here a process is a program in aggregation a process need to certain resources including cpu time memory files io devices economy its task every process need a processor memory file and io devices completes the task simultaneous execution lead a multiple process hand creation execution and termination of a process are the most basically function latency of an os that means in in, in this line uh, you have to produce in this way some processor are here given and some programs p1 p2 p3 so one by one programs move to processor then execute and after execute program is terminated program is terminated and program is terminated all system controlled through the operating system and cpu scheduling perform the major role for processing process execution if process are dependent then they may be uh, try, they may try to share same same resources the task of process synchronization comes to the pictures if process are independent then or uh, due to care need to be take taken to avoid their overlapping in memory area so if process are independent so overlapping is care not uh, due to care needs to taken about some overlapping and based on priority some priority uh, here mentioned some priority based on priority it is a important allow more important process uh, to execute first than other so in case of process in case of programs some priority concept are here mentioned ki which process are produced first or for which process are enter in a cpu first so first you have to decided some priority then after priority you have to one by one execute it memory management before you say memory management is totally dependent of uh, say that primary related memory primary related memory that means ram is the primary related and it is a non volatile memory okay non volatile memory that means ki uh, ram size is minimum and uh, it is a uh, sorry it's a volatile memory and uh, if volatile memory uh, some storage device some storage data and after shutdown um, data is removed so here some uh, point is mentioned memory is a large array of uh, word of bytes each with its own addresses it is repository of quickly accessible data shared by the cpu and io devices main memory is a volatile storage device when the computer may turn off everything is stored ram will be uh, aged automatically and you have mentioned in additional physical ram installed your computer most modern operating system so virtual concept virtual memory concept are here executed so operating system is a main responsible for track the every memory management related to which process are enter in a memory and which process are deleted which process are allocated and deallocated and decided everything through operating systems next is file management file management basically it is a part of the secondary storage device just as the uh, disk uh, hard disk memory uh, um, big memory is terabyte everything is related to the uh, secondary memory and uh, it is related to the file system a file system is a collection of relational information defined by the creator 
file systems provide the convention of the encoding storage and management of data on a storage device such as hard disk that means it is a type of the file system and that file system is stored in the hard disk and uh, your operating system is responsible for activities what is main role of the operating system is here first is file creation deletion directory creation deletion support of primitive manipulating file directories uh, mapping files onto secondary storage file backup the so everything everything decide who so it is a managed through operating system and uh, next is device management or io management io management what is the device management and io management device control are component on the motherboards that acts as an interface between cpu and the actual devices device driver which are the operating systems software component that interact with the devices and controller uh, a special device called the interrupt controller handles the task of the receiving interrupts requested and priorities them the to be forward to the processor here uh, one point also mention deadlock deadlock first uh, all of you know that ki dead, what is the deadlock deadlock basically if one processor uh, collect if one processor collect a one resource and another processor uh, request for the, that resource but resource is not uh, release another process so condition is created deadlock condition so here is also mentioned some point uh, can occur the two process have control different io services and needed by the other process and they are unwilling to give the control of devices as a main form and uh, activity some activities perform the following activity device management keep track the all device connected and uh, uh, designated the program responsible for every devices uh known as input output decide the with which process get access to certain devices and for how long and uh, allocated devices in a effective and efficient way and deallocated devices when they are no longer required security and protection all of you know that operating system basically provide the kerberos security kerberos security it is a higher security all of you protect your system through the password password protected that is a major role of the operating system why you put why you uh, put the password because some attackers and some other unauthorized person not access the your systems your files and your uh, everything related to your securities so here some mention this one the operating system uses password protection to protect user data and similar other techniques it is also prevent unauthorized access to programs uh, and user data by assigning access right permission to files and directories the owner of information is stored uh, in in a multi user or uh, multi user or network computers systems may uh, may want to control use of that information and concurrent concurrent process should not be in the inter interference with each other next is user interface mechanism uh, here yeah, some uh, points here user interface basically is a major function of the operating system because if user is interact easily to system so uh, it is a communication very uh, fast so basically it's a major uh, function of the operating system if a user uh, easy to uh, interact with inter user interact with uh, operating system and uh, access the some programs and execute the programs so it is a very easy form so the major role of the operating system so it is a two type of interface are uses for the this this process uh, first is command line interface or graphical interface basically uh, command line interface basically uses in the linux and uh, linux operating system and graphical user uses the window related operating systems so here some pictures are mentioned so some sort keys are there dates how to check the dates and how to create the files suppose uh, you have to create uh, some files through the command line so how to create a files 
in a linux and in a unis so some commands are there suppose uh, you have to create some files so some commands suppose touch abc so using the touch abc command you have to create a file and if create a file and some folders so through uh, through for folder we have to create mkdir command of using for creating the folder so this is a interaction through the command line based so here mention in a command line interface user types command represented sort keyed or observation of press special keys on the keyboard to enter uh, data and instructions okay next is user interface user interface that means a visual the image you know that uh, in a window you how to create the files first right click in your systems and uh, create a new file and the file is created and uh, if uh, create some folder write the uh, right click and create the folders option go for the new folder and folder is created it's a totally on graphical base interact venues and visual images ki how to is performed one by one steps in a real scenario uh, how to uh, everyone see the uh, how to create my files and how to the create my folders and how to copy the files and how to the uh, delete the files uh, all are managed through operating systems okay history uh, some history of uh, before history i have say something about before uh, uh, around 190 and 95 and 94 number of operating system user are maximum 95% uh, window user are uh, stabilized in every uh, around the world because uh, linux linux uh, system are not uses some person linux operating system why because uh, linux system basically it is the based on linux and unix it is basically based on the command line so it is a not a user friendly but in that times in that scenario, current scenario uh, uh, current scenario 80 75% are move on the operating uh, window operating system and 30 to 35 uh, 25 30% move on the linux basically most of the companies and most of the uh organization most of the military parts are uses the linux and unix based operating system because in linux and unix operating system security is very and uh, it is provide the uh, maximum throughputs in comparison to windows linux provide the maximum or uh, some history are uh, uh, mentioned here so i have give some give the brief idea just uh, the first generation in 1942 early 1950s it is the first initial present or the next generation is 1955 to uh, 1965 and third generation 1965 to 1980 and fourth generation is 1980 to present day so that means a uh, no operating system i have already in initial start before starting the video uh, in the first starting points i have to already say the in, in before times some before times operating system is not there so communication through the system is very difficult so our program was was done is absolutely the machine language open by writing the up plug board of control the machine basics function this is a very difficult and complex the second generation first operating systems was introduced in the early 1950 was called gmos and created the general motor ibms uh, machine that 701 and single stream batch processing systems and third generation to this the multi programming development of the mini computers and fourth generation is developments of pc is birth of the window but after 98 after 98 we have to interact main interaction between the pcs and users here are some types of operating system mention ha huh. first is a batch operating system next is a uh, multi programming operating system next is time operating sharing operating system multi processing operating system distributed operating system network operating system real time operating system and multitasking operating system so uh, here i have to discuss one by one every operating system first uh, just i give the some uh, brief idea in one by one then i have to discuss uh, brief uh, discuss derived properly 
तो फर्स्ट इज बैच ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम व्हाट इज अ बैच ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन अ बैच ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम यू हैव टू क्रिएट सम बैचेस ऑफ सेम टाइप ऑफ प्रोग्राम्स एंड आफ्टर क्रिएट सम बैचेस एंड यू टू द पुट ऑन द सम डिस्क फिल्म डिस्क एंड दैट डिस्क दैट डिस्क टेक एंड मूव ऑन द ऑपरेट सिस्टम लोकेशन एंड हैव टू गिव द सम ऑपरेटर एट दैट प्लेसेस एंड गिव द सम डिस्क टू ऑपरेटर एंड देन ऑपरेटर आफ्टर एग्जीक्यूशन द आउटपुट ही आस्क टू मी एंड यू यू हैव टू गिव द सम आउटपुट एंड आई हैव टू कलेक्ट द आउटपुट डेट द टू डूज ओके तो इट इज अ मैक्सिम नाइनटी सेवेंटी एंड नाइनटीन सिक्सटी टू नाइनटी सेवेंटी बैच ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम आर इंट्रोड्यूज इज दैट टाइम्स वेरी पॉपुलर इन दिस टेक्निक सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ जॉब वॉर बैच टूगेदर एंड एक्सक्यूट दिन टाइम पीपल यूर यूज हैविंग अ सिंगल कंप्यूटर विच वॉज द कॉल्ड वेन फ्रेम द बैच ऑपरेटिंग एक्सेस गिवेन टू मोर देन वन पर्सन दे सबमिट देर रिस्पेक्टिव जॉब the system for the executions and uh, ha huh, here that means in view of this pictures this is a operating system we have job 1 job 2 job 3 and uh, create some batches using some uh, jobs and it is a move on the cpu and then cpu execute and after execution you have your monitor you have to collect the uh, operator collect the outputs and give the so persons so you are also mention some lines here uh ha huh, here yeah. the user collect their respective outputs then all the jobs executed user collect the respective output when all the jobs get executed next each advantage processor of batch system know how long the jobs would be when it is a queue multiple user can share the batch system the ideal time of batch system is very less it is uses to manage large work repeatedly in batch systems some disadvantage also there the computer operator should be well known with batch system systems batch systems are hard to to debug it is a sometimes costly the other jobs will have to wait for unknown unknown time if any jobs fail next is multi Uh, programming operating system multi programming operating system in multi programming operating systems number of programs are maximum suppose p1 p2 p3 number of processor are there p3 p4 number of processor are uh, programs are there or processor are there ready for the moving on the um, processor so in multi programming system so uh, it is a uh, execute one by one every process it is execute one by one every process if but need of any input output if need any input output a process move on on the ideal state so basically the main main disadvantage of the multi programming here some liners mentions multi programming is a extension batch of processing where the cpu is always kept busy Uh, each process um, busy. That means that one process is move on the input output. So another process or inter. Uh, so another process is move on into. But P three is inter. But it is a works on the uh, non primitive form. In a non primitive case, in non primitive case, basically if process are completed, then other uh, other process are enter in the queue. Enter in the um, running queue. So uh, it is a busy, but uh, starvation are created because some process are. Uh, waiting time is very high so each process need to to a type system cpu time and input output time in a multi programming environment when a process its input output the cpu can start execution of the process other process there are multi programming improve the efficiency of the systems advantage throughput is high because uh, cpu is always uh, busy so throughput is increases response time can also be reduced disadvantage multi programming system provide an uh, environment in which uh, various system resources are used efficiently but they not provide so provide uh, any user any user in actions which the computer system multitasking operating system in multitasking operating system 
in a daily life you have to use some browser emails word movie reels games some uh, process some operating system some process are working on your systems systems so multitasking operating system manage the all uh, all processor one by one so it is a basically correlated to the uh, time sharing because uh, we have to some time allocated because uh, sometimes just just like 10 10 minutes you have to uh, move on the web browser 10 minutes on the email and 10 minutes on the word that concept are working so cpu utilization very high and idleness is minimum uh, so here yeah, mention sure. Mul multitasking advantage advantage of multitasking operating this operating system is more suited uh, to supporting multiple users simultaneously the multitasking operating has well the well defined uh, memory management the multiple processor busy at the same time at the same time to complete any task in a multitasking environment so the cpu generated more heat okay 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 because some web processor are uh, use uh, processing part when the processor maximum processor uses uh, for the multitasking so on processor more cpu generated more the heat time sharing operating system in a time sharing uh, operating system it works on the time quantum in the you have to take some example if provide the some questions uh, if the in a classroom some five student are sitting on the bench so all student take the some questions five five questions every student are taking the five question and ask the teachers if one student uh, uh, asking to questions from the uh, teachers and teacher is job the every questions answer and it is a uh, works only two answers give the two answer uh, of a out of five so after two you move on the another two another students another more students so every students you give the two answers because you have to uh, it is a 5 minutes and 10 minutes timer given every student so efficiency job efficiency is increases in a time sharing operating system so time sharing operating system are allocated in a time dependent fashion to the several program simultaneously that means some program simultaneously working because waiting waiting time is decreases because no any person are wait uh, if uh, time sharing is not uh, in a operating system so one program is delay maximum time so starvation are created it helps to provide large number of user direct access to the main computer in time sharing cpu switch um, uh, among multiple program given by context different user and schedule basis that means time sharing it is also work on the context switching program so matlab one process uh, context switch to another process one process to after process uh, information is stored in the pcb and then move on the another process a time sharing operating system allow many user to serve simultaneously uh, so sophisticated cpu and scheduling schemes and input output management are required time sharing operating system are very difficult expensive and built so is there the diagrams and the cpu and uh, every user to connect it to the systems and, and that means i have to uh, share the one example a uh, teachers in the classrooms and 10 students take a five questions uh, every student asking to the teacher for the one by one question so a teacher is provide the some time 5 to 10 minutes for one per A student then move the other other student. So interaction between teachers and a student is continuously connectivity is performed. So delay time is very decreases. In other is time sharing some advantage or even uh, here. advantage time sharing operating system the time sharing operating system provides effective visual utilization and sharing of the resource this system reduce cpu ideal and response time response time sharing data already say that ideal time is minimum and response time is very high in a time sharing data transmission rate a very high in a comparison to in comparison to uh, other methods security is integrity of user program load in memory and data needed to be maintained as many users uh, access multi process operating system if number of processor it is multiple so uh, work very fast 
suppose number of processor suppose it is a one cpu one cpu one cpu and share single memory memory so task is defined the uh, so process so one process task is divided into different different form and allocated some different process so uh, throughput is very fast and processing is very fast so multi processor operating system it is a basically two type it is a symmetric and asymmetric in a symmetric case every processor have uh, equal uh, every process have equal uh, availability and no any uh, boss slab and it's the one processor uh, processor give the some instruction to the slab and uh, it you execute execute the process so another some advantage and disadvantage you have mentioned already say the reliability and throughput is very high due to the multi processing system processing task can be distributed among several processes this increase the reliability as if one processor fails the task can be given another processor for completion that means if uh, one processor in case failed and any uh, another another issues are created so process are shifted on the another process shifted to another process so uh, increasing reliability is possible in a multi processing system increased throughput because uh, uh, processing is very fast so so high pro high throughput is possible disadvantage of microprocessor or multi processor operating system multi processor operating system is more complex and sophisticated as it uh, distributed operating system in a distributed operating in case of distributed operating system basically one system places on in that place another system places on another place and another place and another place then after executed some process and uh, programs and that is a collaborate and give the so uh, here distributed operating system the distributed operating system is not installed a single machine it is divided into part and this part are loaded different machines a part of distributed operating system is installed on each machine to make their communication possible distributed operating system are much more complex large sophisticated than networks operating system because they have to take care take care and uh, varying networking protocols so here mentions of uh, some pictures are here some host are given another places and some host are another places uh, it is a uh, communicated through the gateway and uh, so ap so after uh, final result is found and some advantages are there the distributed system is here and some disadvantage advantages uh, the distributed operating system system provide uh, sharing of resources the type of system is fault tolerance protocol over a dominated computational cost is the main part of the distributed operating system okay thank you